chemical formula what does it represents now very often you come across chemical formulas let's say for example if you have uh, water okay and I'm taking water because this is the most commonly used and the most simplest one of them this is written as H2O right H2O basically stands for water instead of writing water we just write H2O now let's do a careful analysis of what does this reflect to us basically water is what water is a compound right and what the chemical formula of a compound represents is what are the elements which are present okay or let's say what are the kind of atoms which are present kind of atoms if I may call it so if I look at the chemical formula over here I see that I have H which is what which is the symbol of hydrogen right so first thing is I know that when I talk about water as a compound if I look at the chemical formula it represents what kind of an atom is present in it so H stands for hydrogen O stands for oxygen so what is does a chemical formula tells us the first thing it tells us is what are the kind of atoms which are present in a compound right the second thing which also is coming out from here is how many atoms of each one of them is present so the number of atoms of each of these elements if I may call them is also given so let's say for hydrogen H2 represents what it represents there are two atoms of hydrogen right and there is one atom of oxygen so when we talk about chemical formula it basically tells us what are the kind of atoms which are present in a compound what are the number of atoms of each of these kind of elements which is present in a compound and when we talk about a compound what we are talking about here is one molecule okay so basically what we do is if, if you just have a broad look at this when I say it is H2 what I mean is that there are hydrogen thing which are available in this particular compound right how many the number of atoms of hydrogen or this subscript if I may call it this is known as basically the subscript the subscript is basically used to write how many number of atoms of hydrogen are present in this particular compound the second one if I look at it over here is oxygen below oxygen there is nothing this means that there is one atom of oxygen we do not write O1 but we just write O to indicate that there is one atom of this particular thing which is available over there now uh, when I talk about molecule I was just talking about basically the molecular compounds which are there so we know that compounds can be either molecular compounds or they can be ionic compounds as well compounds which are formed of two or more types of ions right in case of ionic compounds basically this chemical formula represents the simple ratio of the ions in the compound which means basically that you know the positive or the negative charge on the ions are not reflected ultimately in the compound so let's say for example if I talk about magnesium chloride okay magnesium chloride is written as MgCl2 right now in this case what happens is magnesium has two positive okay and chloride has one negative so basically and we'll understand more about the crossovers and you know writing the formulas in some of the next videos but when we write the formula of magnesium chloride we just simply write it as MgCl2 we do not consider these positive or the negatives of the ion which is symbols into the final compound thing right so this is basically what one needs to know about the chemical formula what it represents okay how these are formed for different categories we are going to see in the next video